Hey guys, today I'll show you how to set up Contabo VPS and start hosting your favorite applications in your virtual private server. Some of you requested this and I will create a new one and, and this is an updated version from my previous video on setting up Contabo VPS. So head on Contabo VPS and I'll put the link on the description down below. It's an affiliate, so I appreciate your support. And we will um, get Cloud VPS 6C. So it has a generous 12 gigabyte of RAM. And I'll, uh, you will get uh, two snapshots, which is absolutely useful for backups. So just select this one. And uh, today um, they have they have um, ongoing sales. So if you will choose twelve months, uh, you get twenty percent off. And for six months, you get um, ten percent. So um, okay, I'll just get uh, six months for now, and. Um, Contabo has no longer adds set up fee, which is good. And if you want to choose a uh, region, so the rule of thumb is choose which region is closest to your audience. So for instance, if your target audience is in the UK, choose UK. Or if your audience are located on United States so you can choose uh, East or or West and uh, you can check about the places uh, estates on East and West so if you are in the Europe or in Germany you can just choose European Union and I always choose uh, NVMe storage because it is much faster than SSDs and if you want to have a bigger storage just choose a uh, 3 gigabyte SSD and if you want bigger N NVMe you can choose uh, 250 um, gigabyte uh, you will need to add 3.03 euros so for image uh, I always uh, pick um, Debian 12. It's it is um, it is my preferred um, Linux distro. So for auto backup, I don't need this one. So just uh, manual on demand. So private um, for networking, I don't need the private networking. And if you want to add an IPv4 address, uh, just choose uh, one. So th they only have a additional one IPv4 if you want an add-on for IPv4. And for object storage, I don't need none for now. And of course, server uh, server management is unmanaged, so we will. Um, manage our own server so I don't need monitoring if you want monitoring um, just install just install um, a software called Prometheus it's uh, open source and for login and password so our initial login is root and it will generate a new password so just click this one and be sure to um, copy this one and if you will forget this you can always change the password later on on your um, control panel so copy this one so just click next and if you are new so um, create an account and uh, choose private if you are an individual and for if you have a business if you want 
to use Contabo as a business you can just click business so I'm a private individual so I will create an account okay so once you have filled up the necessary fields just click next and we will proceed to payment okay um, uh, th there are only two payment methods PayPal and credit card and I'll choose PayPal okay now once you have connected your PayPal or your credit card you will then proceed to this page and just click order and pay so now I have paid my VPS on Contabo and I'll just wait for the provisioning of my server so you can check your email for our progress so let's check our email and we don't have the login credentials yet so we'll just wait for a few hours three hours maximum okay now we just receive our login details and that was very quick okay we just received it within six minutes and this is my IPv4 and IPv6 and I have checked my IP and it is super clean and now your control panel so this is um, login details for your control panel you can use this to log into Contabo and manage your VPS so let's log into Contabo and now we are on our Contabo VPS control panel here you can manage your server you can go to VPS control and start start or stop your VPS you can just click manage here you can also upgrade your VPS you can extend uh, NVMe storage storage and it, in case you want to change your mind you can order Windows operating system and you can always reset your password uh, your root password by uh, clicking password reset and for your your reverse DNS go to reverse DNS management and here you can set your uh, reverse DNS uh, for both IPv4 and IPv6 so this is a fully self-managed uh, virtual private server uh, from Contabo and if you want to reinstall your operating system you can just go to um, let's go to OS reinstalls you can um, the process is shown here and um, you can go to okay, click reinstall if you want um, Alma Linux 9 or if you want to go to Ubuntu uh, you can uh, do so anytime you want and just don't forget to set your um, root password and I think that is the basics of your virtual private server here on Contabo and now let's try to log into our server I, I always use Bitvice because it is um, free and, uh, and and it has a GUI so I'll just run Bitvice okay open your uh, Bitvice and uh, in the host field copy your IPv4 and your username is root and your port is 22 and just click login accept and save okay your password is the one you have set while setting up 
on top of VPS. So paste it here and click OK. And uh, click New Terminal Console. And now we are connected to our Contabo VPS server. Now you can install your favorite self hosted applications. For instance, if you want to set up or install WordPress, you can install with, uh, you can install web hosting panels like Cloud Panel or Virtual Mean or AA Panel. And I will um, install yet another bench script so that you can check its um, benchmarks. Okay, I will install it now. And okay, so okay, we'll wait for a few minutes for the Yabs to do its job. And I will let you know the results. And I will put a link on the description down below. Okay, here is the complete, yet another band script result. And for the benchmark result, here is the bench, um, Geekbench 6 result. So it's better with a multi uh, core. I'll put the link uh, of the Geekbench 6 result on the description down below. So that's it. This is how you will set up Contabo VPS and start your own self-hosting journey. If you have any questions, um, just ask them on the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them all. If this video helped you in any way, please hit the that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video.